All right, here we are at Starcade in St. Paul, Minnesota. And tell me about this place. Hey, yeah, so we are Starcade. We are Minnesota's largest free play arcade. It's uh, $15 per person for a wristband, and that makes it so that every arcade is yours until you, we close. So from 11 a.m. every uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday until 9.30, and then 8 o'clock okay. we close on Sunday. Nice. And so how, yeah. many, how many arcades do you have? We have over 150 games, okay. quite a few um, rare games. Um, but yeah, everything is on free play. If the game is too old to have a free play option, we do have a coin up button available that will right. simulate that. Let me show you that here. So there's like a little coin button, right? So you hit that. That adds the coins to the game. So yeah, Starcade became a thing because of three uh, enthusiasts. Uh, these guys have been collecting for, I would say, 20 years or a little longer. Okay. And yeah. As a collector myself, what happens is you just can't have one. Yeah. And you, you, uh, <laughs> I have you get, one. You get the And I want more than one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's basically what these guys did. They just kept, they were, they got in at the right time when games were um, very cheap. Yeah. People couldn't give them away and they had them stored in their basements, their garages, storage units, and other people's garages. So now they finally put their collections together, and this is how we're Starcade sharing it with born. the community, which is yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. Why don't you show me around? Absolutely. Come so, on, this way. so we got some here. We got some cabarets here. Cabarets. We got everything from eighties to nineties throughout here. Yep. A lot of Atari. Um, yeah. Roadrunner, these are pack rat are pretty hard to find. Cool. Um, if you ever played Asteroids, there's Blasteroids. It's, in my humble opinion, the best version of them. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, we just played it. Yeah, it's fun. We have Zybot, we have 720, we have Liberator, Warlords, and Return of the Jedi. Yep. Right over here. This is uh, Carl, and Carl is going. He Carl. would connect you with a wristband. Nice. You can belly up at the bar here, and all we have is uh, craft sodas and, and cold products. The so craft sodas, cold products. You, you can, can order soup, pizza. Order pizza at our restaurant. Yep. Nachos, appetizers. Cool. Ice cool. cream. We will soon have a liquor license, so okay, we'll nice. do some draft beer. Uh, you have. Arkanoid, yeah. Edge of Ghosts, and Ghosts. Rare. Last Ghost and I played all the time growing up. Space Ace and a Dragon Slayer currently. Um, nice. Venture and Fax. Now, and what is Fax? Fax is like a trivia game. A lot of. Okay. Um, let's just say a lot of grandparents like to play this game okay, when they cool. bring their grandkids. In. Yeah, nice. <laughs> That's great. We got the classic off road. This, yeah, I'm going to play this with my kids in a little bit. So This row right here is probably my favorite because it's all the Capcom Big Blues. Such an ugly cabinet, but always had the best and beautiful. Yeah, right. So Street Big Fighter Blue franchise. means because the side of it. It's a Big Blue cabinet. Big Blue cabinet like that. Yeah. So. Yep. Cool. Captain Commando, Punisher, Captain Marvel vs. Capcom 2, X-Men vs. Street, Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Vampire Savior, you don't see that every day. You don't see that yeah. often. That's part of the Darkstalker series. Yep. Yeah, the, the classic Street Fighter. Street Fighter two, yep. The new Challengers. And then, man, you and just got you walk down here, tons of stuff. This one here, the, the Senti cabinets are very rare. And um, this is playing off the wall. This seems to be a favorite of the staff and the arcade. And it's such so, a simple design of it's tennis with a, with a tri uh, ro rotation yeah, right. control. Okay to slap the ball, it's funny. That's cool. Um, I'll have to try that with you in a bit. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Got Shinobi. This one I also played all the time growing up. That's great. Aliens. Ooh, okay. For all the Double Dragon fans, we have the sequel. We have Akari. Double Dragon 2. Akari Warriors 3, The Rescue, Forgotten Worlds, Reactor. Yep. Uh, Smash Contra. TV. Super Contra, Mortal Kombat 3, of course. Mortal Kombat 3 is what took my allowance every week at the arcade when I was a teenager. <laughs> uh, Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct 2. We've got Battletoads. Battletoads. That's, that's common. Great and this is up. original Battletoads. Like. This is the arcade version of Battletoads. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Galaxian, Galaxian all Tetris. Yep. Neo Geo. Neo Geo. Four slot. So you got the Dragon Spirit, Galaga, Centipede. And you got a and bunch of candy cabs here. And the Japanese candy cabs even are really like, okay. Very rare. Katsunuko versus Capcom. Yep. Uh, 
so you can today. so when you when you're saying that like there's multiple games on these uh, or you when you say you're loading them you can put different games in them so not only do we have this selection of candy caps we have a bunch in back and in uh, paradise arcade so is it like a cartridge you put into it or it's just a board Oh, so okay. every the, the hard part about owning a, a, a Japanese candy cab is it requires a 27 inch monitor CRT. They're all 27 inch. All 27 okay. inch, and that's your your best bet is you're gonna find 25 inch, right, 19 inch, right? Okay. 27 inch. That's you, hard. You see them in Buck Hunters. You see them in yep. um, uh, Gauntlet. Okay. Legends. Got it. Yeah. Tubin. Um, Tubin, that's cool. The, the, the game isn't rare, but the monitor is. It, yeah. it requires a 19 inch medium res monitor and only, uh, a, to my knowledge, four games ran that monitor. Okay. Paperboy, NARC, Tubin, and. Uh, so there's not a lot of monitors left. There's not, and a lot of NARCs have been destroyed to either, and Tubins, uh -huh. to uh, repair a Paperboy. Oh, because Paperboy is more popular? Paperboy is the most popular. Got it. Of okay. Of Here's another rare gem. Um, I was, this is actually, I didn't know how rare this was, but we have the six player Woo! X -Men. I had this in my CRT. arcade growing up. I only oh, recently found out so this information beautiful. that it's, there's only 500 of these out in the existence. In the whole, they only made 500 they of They only made 500 of this version. Wow. The rest were four player. This was. This was in my arcade growing up. Mine too. Yeah. Mine too. So, so and it looks so good. Yeah. Like, All of our games we take pride in. They, they look really in, in good. Making sure that yeah. they are at top notch as best we can. You know, yeah. the, the downside about owning and running an arcade is everything goes down every week. Yeah, I'm, sure. Not everything. A lot of things go down. Yeah. So, and we, it's like hitting the reset button. You on guys the are Nintendo. repairing every yeah. week. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. That's so cool. And yeah. if I remember correctly. One of the TVs is actually upside down. If you right? bring your phone, yeah, you can see one's uh, sitting down and reflecting onto a mirror, and that's where the other CRT yeah. is. Yeah, that's so cool. But it's really hard to sync them. The oh, I bet. Yeah. yeah, I bet. Okay, cool. So yeah, if we go around the corner. We have more. We have the, this is actually these two are very rare. Okay. Um, Teddy Boy Blue. I don't know enough information about them, but these are not common at all. Mm -hmm. Not many okay. at all. Uh, Outrun Cabaret is rare. Sorry, not, maybe not rare, but you're not going to see it too yeah, often. Right. Uh, so we got some of your like rhythm games. Our rhythm right? games, I think, seem to be the most popular with the young generation. There is um, a community surrounding yeah. okay. the rhythm games. Resolution? Yep. Or a yeah. version of it? Yep. Nope, that's it. Okay, cool. Old school gauntlet. Here's a, a rare beat up ninja baseball. Yeah. Batman. They had this at Galping Ghosts. Yeah. And this is hard to find. That's, NFL Showtime. That's cool. Virtual on TX1. And then my personal favorite is uh, Daytona USA. And Ga uh, Golly Ghost, which isn't up right now, but I, I played this at my local arcade as well. This game is so clever. Um, we're just getting the CRT repaired on it. Nice. It, 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 uh, you it, it's got a literal dollhouse on the bottom. Yeah. And then the, the, the board plays the ghost floating yep. around and you got to shoot the ghost. And in I the think, house. I remember it vibrates a lot, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I remember that. Oh, that's cool. Uh, couple of other schmucks. Yep. We got uh, Strikers. A lot of good ones here. We got the Giant Old Hero. School Riding. Action Hero. Judge okay, so these are the shooters. Yeah, Carnival. That's a big Carnival. Yes. I've never seen one that well, big. Yeah, like this. That, that was probably like the deluxe version. Of yeah, sure. I always remember in my arcade. Oh the, wow. The fighters that were brand Mortal new came Kombat. on the War. showcase cabinet. I don't think I've ever seen this. Either. I love the showcase yeah. cabinets. So this is basically Ow. universal to whatever fighting game was hot back in the day. Okay. So somebody, one of the owners, found this running Mortal Kombat Four. So, um, so was this, uh, you could swap out you the You could swap parts. out the top, swap yeah. out the game, swap out the marquee, okay. and you were ready to go. Nice. Ninja Turtles, turtles. classic beat em up. You gotta love your turtles. Four player, yep. Uh, then we're coming back around Back to, the to where clothes. the Capcom is. This is a fantastic version oh, of track and field. I had the, uh, I didn't, but I played the upright version. 
That yeah. was another one we had yep. at uh, the local arcade. So it, upright is a fun one to play. Yeah, in my opinion, I've, I've never seen it. I've never seen it like this. Cocktail. Yeah, and we have to try it out. So this isn't everything because it's not everything. Follow me around the corner here where we have our, our beverages and snacks. You got Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Gauntlet Dark Legacy, which is always going to be near and dear to my heart. Um, these are our oldest games, and they're these are cool. They they're not the most appealing at first, but when you actually look at them and, and, and yeah, this one I was playing earlier, and it's shuffleboard. You erase you you really appreciate the design. Yeah. So let's show this off quick. First to fifteen. So it's literally shuffleboard. You got one, two, and three there, and you try to get it within. Yeah, and now the computer's gonna play. <laughs> That's so cool. I really like Night Driver. I think it's a clever design. So right now we have the ball oh, right. out, but there's a yeah. plastic car here that lights up. Uh huh. And then the game is designed that when you steer, it, the screen That's will cool. shift. And the That's Atari. Will... Okay. Yep. Uh, a couple shooters. Yeah. If you remember, there was a there was a Western game for the Atari where you had to shoot the wall and then try to shoot each other. Okay. A lot like that. Okay. But this cool. hill is really fun. Nice. And so then yeah. we're going upstairs. This to me is we're entering the '85 DeLorean, going '88. Oh the yeah. Back to the the good old days. Uh, I do. I did spend some time up here. So. Immediately, you're you're greeted by the Star Wars cockpit. Yeah. Out of our yep. Star Wars. Tempest, Major, Major Havoc, Black Widow, Space Duel, Asteroids, and Asteroids Asteroids Deluxe. Deluxe. Yep. Down this row, we have our Valley Bitcoin, everything from Pac-Man. Yeah, Pac Burger, Burger Time. And then you got the speed up chip in the Mrs. Pac-Man. We do. Yep. Um, let's go around. Rumpetron. Let's go around. Let's go around. Let's go around. Yeah, all right. And then we have the Nintendo Row. Woo, uh, look at this. We've got the Valley. Got the I got to play that. Such story about this nintendo had what was called the versus unit and it was two arcade cabinets side yep. by side and that way arcade owners could run two games cool problem was it was so large arcade owners had a hard time getting it through the door uh, so they'd ask for a refund nintendo came up with this design called the red tent it's basically a cocktail table so let's show the other side running the two games so you got excite bike on this side and then you have Dr. Mario on this side. This is highly sought after by Nintendo collectors because it's yeah. so easy to swap the boards out. You can put different games in there. Absolutely. And it's just got your BA. And each board yeah. runs two games. Oh, wow. And there's okay. even Nintendo Red Tents out so, there with four-player baseball and four-player tennis. So what you're saying is there's one board that's running Dr. Mario and Excitebike. Correct. Excite Bike. Correct. Okay, cool. Yes. We got the classic punch out. The dual My screen. humble yeah. opinion, NES's version of punch out was better than the arcade. Sure. This is still it's classic. great to have. You it's love having it here. Mario Brothers. We're still Mario Brothers. We got R Type, Castlevania. So, why is this called Versus Castlevania if there's not a second Versus? All of Nintendo's arcade like games Dungeon were or? called Versus. Okay. All right. When it came to one that they had out. It was an NES game first, and then they put it in the arcade? Actually, that's. A no, uh, they started out in arcade, and that was Nintendo's way of here's oh the, trying them out. Try them, okay. But then they, so yeah, it was their way of tra testing the market to see how a game would yeah. do. Um, but Which then is where they the Play Choice Ten comes Play in. Play Choice Ten, you'd find these at Pizza Huts, you'd find them at Toys R Us, yep. Children's Palace back in the day, and and uh, yeah, so it basically can, had yeah. ten games to choose from. And this was how Nintendo then tested the market to wow. see what games would do well. So you got Super Mario 3 on here. Do you have any others? Game select. I'm trying to... Reset. There oh, we go. go. Okay, Goonies, Gradius, Castlevania. Whew, this is so cool. I love this. Yeah, I don't know the exact history on the Versus. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. But, no, it's all right. Um, I saw... Um, Donkey Kong was Nintendo's, like, this is our game. Yeah, We're, we're right. going to stand behind our... Jumpman, which was Mario's yep. original yep. name. Um, I think they knew Castlevania did well, so they had a versus series of games. Got it. Okay. Versus probably it was the double cabinet. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Ca Castlevania was on an option for yep. that. Yep. I think somebody just got a hold of like a Donkey Kong Jr. and converted oh, it to Castlevania. Oh, that's probably what that was. Okay. But this was how Nintendo tested the market. Yep. And uh, with this, um, you can also get different games absolutely swap them out this is that. a collector's dream but it's also a collector's nightmare yeah. because 
you can get a lot of these games for under 20 bucks yeah, on yeah, eBay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're looking for the carts for this thing, you're running about $100 sure. at least. Super Mario Brothers. Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself, but if anyone remembers the wonderful game Rampage by the brilliant Brian Cullen, this is another game designed by him. Brian Cullen was the artist that did Rampage, Tron, um, Xenophobe, and yeah. Blasted. And you can see it's got Brian Cullen all over it with his yeah the art design, his art design, his illustrations. Yep. But basically, this is a you're a sniper across the street shooting mm -hmm. the bad guys to save the victims. Oh, that's cool. Really rare. Not not too not you don't see oh, that too cool. often. Pot I haven't gold, heard of Pot of Gold. Space Invaders, another ice cold Yep, and this was the where the actual screen is down there, and then so you're looking is, at a this reflection. This Space Invaders Deluxe, and uh -huh. yes, it was another brilliant design where you have the cardboard behind and it shoot through a two-way mirror. So you're able to have the backdrop and all of that yep. stuff. Yeah. Yep. Ice Cold Beer is cool. Ice Cold Beer, we have Tron, Frogger, Butter, Rampage. That's what we were talking about, yeah. Yep. Cyber Cyberball. And is this a versus type thing? Yeah. yeah. Not not Nintendo versus, but right. They're they're Atari's, versing each other kind Atari's of a thing. Version of a tournament Cyber Ball, basically futuristic cool. uh, football. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, this is pro I know I said big praise about Big Blue, but I just love Williams and the games okay. that they design. Yeah. And right here is probably my favorite lineup. So these are all Williams. These are all Williams. They all just look so good together. Yeah, they do. Uh, and first here we are starting with a very rare one called, uh, it, it's Blaster. Blaster's rare in itself. You can find Blaster in a, what was called a Dura mold. That, those plastic mold. It was a plastic mold that once it got overheated, it would melt the cabinet so yeah. they stopped making those. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's hard to find. It's very hard to yeah. find. Yeah. We got Defender. Sinistar, which is probably one of the first games, not the first, but one of the first to have voice speech. Okay. It is the first arcade game to give kids nightmares. And it was uh, <laughs> classified as a horror yeah, game. Yeah, right. Sinistar would just come out and... Yeah, that thing would come out. And, and get you. Yeah, I got it. And, and, and make sure that you knew it. It's yeah. Where I yeah. live. Yep. Another rare, Joust 2. This came two. out, and it's actually signed by... Oh! Cool. Yeah. Um... Joust 2 was made during the, the crash of the arcade era. Oh, right. Um, I think that's the story. I'm so, not positive. So not, not a lot of them made. Yeah. Are made but so awesome to play. So awesome yeah. that we get to have it. Um, if you haven't played Joust 2, in my humble opinion, it is way better than Joust 1. Cool. I love Joust. I've played it. Bubbles, stupid concept. Yeah. Like after living uh, three years, what in a pandemic? It's a great game to remember to wash your hands. <laughs> That's the game. <laughs> yeah. Stupid, stupid so idea. You're, you're but little ball. It is so ball. fun. Like, and you're just cleaning up. You just want to avoid all the scum and the germs and collect the suds without getting hit. That's awesome. It is so fun. Wouldn't you want to hit the germs, though, if you're trying to clean things, you would think? Maybe you can. I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm new to bubbles. <laughs> I'm new to bubbles. Another rare Williams Mystic Marathon. I, don't, I never even heard of it until I got here. Yeah. What's the... Uh... I haven't even had a chance to play it yet. Oh, wow. So, we so we're going on a race. This is Liam. Liam, Liam, do you want to play yeah. Mystic Marathon? Mystic Marathon? I think you're this ugly guy right here. Oh yes, yeah, so you're racing. Interesting. Cool. Unfortunately, our joust is down. Yeah. Moon Patrol, Robotron, which I think is a, yep. an actual treasure. Burger Time's Fable. fantastic. And we got their Valley Midway, which is Burger yeah. Time. Pac-Man is Pac-Man. Yep. Super Pac-Man. Um, yeah, Robotron, like you said, that's a classic. Wonderful game. Kaido Jungle Plan. And then you guys have others in the back that you're yeah, working on or repairing or... It's actually a mess back there, otherwise oh, I'd take you back there. No but yeah, a lot of our games that need repair, we'll swap them out, bring them to the back and bring a working one in. Cool. We, we don't want to have any more than 10% um, of games down. Sure. Yep. So we, we really, we really uh, we gotta communicate have those extras, with our yeah. technician who will come in every Wednesday to make sure games are fixed and up to par. Cool. Um, as soon as the game is down, if we have the, the ability, we'll, we'll get it swapped out. Very cool. You guys want to check out Bad Penny Pinball? Yeah. 
a look at that. And then you guys have even more free play over on the right also. So we do have a party room if you're interested in having your birthday party, your bar mitzvah, or your... You want to renew your wedding vows and your nerd like <laughs> we, can, we can accommodate. Yeah, so we there's the bar and, the then, kitchen for us and, and then all the other games and everything. And yeah. This is cool. And yeah, you can rent this space out. Okay, so some pinballs. Outrun, 1943. Cool. And then you've got more pinball. So this is actually a, a separate shop uh, entity. Okay. Shares the building with us. The, 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 the company name is Bad Penny Pinball. Ah. Um, they do so well and they really do such a great job investing into their community of pinball enthusiasts. Yeah, cool. So everything here is coin off. Okay. Anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar. Every Friday night they have leagues. Oh, they have league, pinball and the, leagues. And they also have a women's league and I don't know cool. what that's for, but it, it's great that they have it. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, they have a lot of the newer stairs. Jurassic Park, classic. The new Jaws, that's only a couple months This ago. is new, okay, cool. Very, very new. Awesome. Uh, the game designed by uh, Keith Elwin, Team Elwin. Okay. Um, here, I'll show you the Star Wars, Star so, Trek. Over, years, over, over, over 30 years, the yeah. number one pinball machine, most sold, most favorite, was um, Adam's Family. Yeah, right. That, that held the, the number one title for over 30 years. Yeah. In 2020, Godzilla beat it. Ah, okay. That's a game designed by Keith Elwin. Uh, Jurassic Park is Jurassic another Park's one fun. that is yeah. designed by Keith Elwin. Jaws is the new pinball designed by nice. Team Elwin. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, That's great. Like so we have Star Wars, Star Trek. Some uh, older ones. Yeah. Stranger Things, Stranger which things. is a, yeah. a, a direct clone of Attack from Mars. Oh, is by, it? By the okay. same designer. Cool. I have that one in my basement. I have Jaws in my basement. And I also have Godzilla. Of basement. course you do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pulp Fiction. Um, Pulp Fiction was highly sought after, brand new, wonderful game. And Labyrinth. Brand new, as of this fall. Look at that. Labyrinth, created by a brand new pinball company called Barrels of Fun. Cool. Okay. Rumor has it, Barrels of Fun has the license to Back to the Future. Ooh. And if that's the case, I'm in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then there's a few more here. Are these a part of your guys' arcade? This is a part of ours. So basically okay. this is to cater to the people that come over to play pinball. So these are coin op then? These are all coin operated. Okay. So you can just come in and be like, I just want to play a quick round of ice cold beer yeah. or carnival. It's 50 cents and cool. you can rock and great. roll. Well, that's so great. And where are you? In St. Paul? St. Paul, uh, we're in the where... Kagan Case Market right off of West 7th Street near okay. the Schmidt Brewery. Got it. All right. Yeah. And it's 15 bucks to get in. $15 per wristband. Nice. That, that gets you all day access to all of our games. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah. Have Great a good one. Yep.